I didn't expect to be filming today, but here we are. Um, welcome to or back to my channel. Today I have another Jasmine Bean themed merch unboxing for you guys. I ordered some more stuff from their store. This unboxing is going to be a little different than normal because not all of the items I ordered are here. Um, two of them are here with me right now, and then I think maybe the other one was shipped separately, so I'm gonna film this part today and film the other item whenever that arrives. Uh, so we'll see what happens with that. This is also gonna be a pretty quick unboxing. There's not a whole lot to look at, but what we do have to look at is pretty cool. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. What I have here today is two of the Pixie Shit pins. Um, I ordered two because I would like to have one on my purse, and I would also like to have one as a collectible and maybe even as a backup just in case anything happens to the one I decide to put on my purse. But let's go ahead and check them out. So here they are. They look like this when you first get them in. Um, they're actually a lot smaller than I thought they would be. Uh, so let's go ahead and open one of them up. Wow. This is, this is fucking sick. This is sick. So here it is um, from the front camera. It's really small as you can see. Um, maybe the size is comparable to a quarter, I would say. But the thing that's really taken me aback is how nice the quality is. Like the design looks flawless. So here it is up close. And as you can see, the details are awesome. It really looks nice. Um, the back doesn't really show anything, but the pin itself, like, that's so rad. So there are the first two items in this order, just the pins. I'm probably gonna leave this one wrapped up and then put this one on my purse. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on my purse right now. As you can see, it's pretty much filled to the brim. And I'm thinking that this pin is going to be the pin that finally completes this bag. Um, and I will not be adding anything else to it because it's a little ridiculous. So there it is on my purse. It looks super cool um, with my thousands of other pins. But I think this is a really nice, unique touch. And I'm really proud to have this on my bag. So the next time you see me, I will have more Jasmine merch to unbox. Um, I will look less like a human asshole and more like, you know, someone who didn't just get off of a long shift at work. Um, so anyway, yeah, I will see you guys in the next segment of this video. Hey guys, I'm back after three weeks. <laughs> First off, um, I do want to apologize for this weird area I'm filming in and the lighting being terrible. I'm literally using a lamp right now. Typically, I'll do my videos in direct sunlight just because I feel like, you know, for doing unboxings, that's the best kind of lighting to show whatever it is I'm unboxing. But I just got off a shift at work a couple hours ago. It's going on one in the morning right now. And I do have work the next two days after this. So that would mean if I were to want to film in direct sunlight, I would have to wait on opening my merch which i don't want to do i want to open it right now so i did my best to create a different kind of setting that hopefully doesn't look too bad for you guys uh, so i just want to get that out of the way so as i mentioned before i was waiting on some new items to come for me from jasmine bean's store the reason they didn't arrive to me when i thought they would was because i had ordered a signed print that apparently they didn't have any more of and it was like a glitch on the website they hadn't removed the listing so um, I contacted Jasmine again just like I did the first time maybe I'll throw hello maybe I'll throw up some screenshots here um, maybe not maybe you're just looking at the Jasmine sweater I don't know so essentially what Jasmine decided to do for me was to send me two different prints signed as a courtesy for what happened with the first one. Um, I intended on ordering the birthday bitch print and they were out of that one. So they sent me a list of available ones and I picked two different ones. So the two replacement prints I decided to go with were the dental print and the murder print which I think the murder print was also limited edition because it was released with the birthday bitch print. But yes, 
when I got home from work today, this was waiting for me on the counter and I'm super excited. So let's go ahead and dive into it. I need to stop saying go ahead so much. Girl, what's wrong with you? I'm way too excited. Let's look at them. Oh my fucking god. Okay, so here is the dental print. Sorry if the lighting is terrible, you know I always get better shots with the back camera anyway. And the murder print. Oh my god. I need a moment just to like look at these real quick for myself. Okay, I've had my moment. So now let's get some better shots with the back camera. So overall, I am super pleased with this whole experience. I mean, you know, for them to run out of a specific print I paid for and as a courtesy send me two of my choice, that's really good customer service. I know that Jasmine Bean's merch store gets a lot of flack for some reason, um, but the thing is when a lot of people started ordering merch, that's when the pandemic was budding and of course, mail is going to be slower than it usually is, but for these I waited like a couple of weeks, I think, which really isn't too bad, honestly. And one thing I will say is they are kind of bent in some places, but they are not like crazy like creases that affect the photo. And I'm going to put these in frames anyway, so it's not even going to matter. I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't put a signed print in a frame. But these are super cool. I cannot believe I have these. I can't believe I have two. I just wanted one. And this is what they gave me for ordering something that was out of stock, which was their mistake. Not Jasmine specifically, but like the merch suppliers, I guess, or the merch team, the warehouse, whatever. So that concludes today's unboxing. I do have a couple others planned. Um, I have one that may not happen until around next month, depending on what goes on with this particular piece of merch um people are kind of questioning like it, it seems to be delayed um some of you might know what that is i don't I, probably not i don't know i'm probably just weird but another one i have planned is um my previous video was a young elita necklace unboxing which i'm wearing today i've been wearing it to work a lot and um i have a huge elita unboxing planned um, as soon as everything is here, I'm going to open it all on camera for you guys and show everything and what it looks like. And I hope that people find these unboxings helpful to, you know, I, I, th I personally do because if I'm considering buying something, but I'm not quite sure because I just don't exactly know what to expect. It's always nice when someone does an unboxing and is like, hey, like here it is in person. Like this is what I think of it. I find that really helpful. So that's really what I'm trying to do here and I'm also a big collector and I love to collect things and be excited with other people about collecting things. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and end this one here. I hope you enjoyed. This was a really exciting one for me to film and it went even, it went even better than I could have imagined. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys really soon. Bye. So the two, <laughs> Why? <laughs> I can teach you how to be just like me. Cute as Hello Kitty. Um.
I think this is how it went. I don't know. Oh no. Oh no. I don't know. I don't remember. Oh my god. I ripped it all open so fast. I don't even remember. Oh. Anxiety. Okay. Alright. We got it. It's working. It's working. 